Hello YouTube watchers, what's up? My name is Walt Willows and welcome to my show and today I'm going to show you how to get the armor of the sun and some other cool objects in Dark Souls 3. So, how do we get all of this stuff? Well, with Snuggly the Crow of course, but who is a Snuggly the Crow, you ask? Well, it's rather a small or an invisible crow that is on a nest on two specific locations and he or she likes to trade stuff with you. All you have to do to get to Snuggy is that you first need to buy the key from the old lady on the Firelink Shrine and it costs 20,000 souls. There's also a glitch to get to Snuggy without the key, but it takes time trying to do it, so I would recommend you to get the 20,000 souls instead. At the beginning it might feel like 20,000 souls is a lot, but trust me on this one, they are easy to get and you even need more just to level up at where I am in the game right now. So, you buy the key from the old lady and you follow my steps on the video you're watching right now. The key opens up the tower's gate at the to top of the Firelink Shrine, next to the giant tree. There's cool stuff to grab in the tower, but to get the snuggly, you drop down here and go to the nest. There's also another nest that you can go to, and it's down here, here's where the glitch leads you to. To get the armor of the sun, you need to get a drink called Sigbrew. The Sigbrew is a drink that a character called Sigbrew Katarina gives you, yes, the Onion Knight, after defeating enemies with him. The Sigbrew comes from the German word Brew of Victory, that's why Sigbrew gives it to you, to do a toast with him of course. So you select the Sigbrew on your inventory and you select the option drop. Just be careful not to drink it instead of dropping it, of course. You drop it and snuggle will dance around, say magic words, whatever that thing does, and then you will be able to grab the armor of the sun. To get the rest of the equipment you need to do the same thing that you just did, but you need this stuff for each one of them. These are the things you need to get the armor of the sun from Snuggly the Crow. So, if you give him or her the lion urn, you will get the iron helm. If you give the homeward bone, you get the iron bracelets. If you give the seed of a giant tree, you will get the iron leggings. If you give the silvery, of course, you will get the armor of the sun. And if you give the medigan stuff, you will get the sunlight shield. These are extra armor pieces you can get by train stuff here as well. If you give the vertebra shackle, you will get the lucatil mask. And if you give the undead bone shard, you will get the porcin shield. You can prepare to try and prepare to trade stuff, different possessions, until Snuggly will give you something for them. If Snuggly doesn't want the thing, don't worry, you can grab them back after dropping them. If you want a full list of the things you can get from Snuggly, well, I'll leave my character rest for a while and keep the list. Shut up, I need to help these people. You can trade this stuff to get upgrade materials from Snuggly. If you give the fire bomb or rope fire bomb, you will get the large titanite shard. If you give the black fire bomb or rope black fire bomb, you will get the titanite chunk. If you give the brimstone, you will get the twinkling titanite. If you give the large leather shield, you will get the twinkling titanite as well. If you give the blacksmith hammer, you will get the titanite scale. If you give the Evelyn, you will get 3 titanite scales. If you give the coil sword fragment, you will get the titanite slab. If you give Loretta's bone, you will get the lightning gem and ring of sacrifice. If you give the sand tau's ground, you will get the lightning gem. If you give the moaning gem, you will get the blessed gem. And if you give the Eleonora, you will get the hollow gem. These are the carvings you can get by train stop here. If you give the divine blessing, you will get the very good carving. If you give the hidden blessing, you will get the thank you carving. If you give the alluring skull, you will get the hello carving. If you give the scare time catalyst, you will get the help me carving. And if you give the shriving stone, you will get the I'm sorry carving. You can also get the help me carving by training this stuff. 
you can give the Georgka chime, the cleric sacred chime, the priest chime, the saint tree bell vine, the Kados chime, and the crystal chime to get the helmet carving. As far as I know, and I already tried before, you can only trade each item once. For example, if you want to get the twinkly titanite because you need to upgrade your sword, you can only get these two. You can get both of them, but only once. I hope that you will find this guide as useful. If you, I miss on something, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to know my favorite places to farm souls in Dark Souls 3, I made a video about that and it's right here on the screen. And now the link to it will also be on the info area below this video. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope that you will have a great time playing this awesome game. And thank you for watching. Good day and good night. Goodbye.